Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the vlog. I haven't been able to vlog in so long and you guys have missed out on so much and I'm really sorry for that. My work schedule has been insane with the MVM fight. Um, we did a live shoot actually at the facility where I work um, with a really famous Japanese comedian called Chihara Jr. And um, it was just a lot of preparation, a lot of hours. I actually didn't get my normal days off that I normally would. Um, in fact, I'm only getting my first day off now and then I'm back to work tomorrow and then I have the drift event later on this week on the 31st which is uh, Thursday I believe and then that's my second day off so it's been hectic really hectic anyway some stuff you missed out on but you wouldn't have missed out if you followed me on Instagram and checked out the storyline that was happening there um, so if you don't have me on Instagram it's abstract studios underscore official Got some new SSR wheels. Uh, these are the VS SSRs. I managed to pick these up on Yahoo Auctions. Just the rim, the rims, a whole set of four for $150. Then I managed to get some Chinese tires delivered, free delivery off Amazon Japan for only $40 a pop, which is awesome. And these are 18 inch, 235 by uh, 235 by 40 R18 tires. So these should do all right for drifting. They're not obviously, you know, I wouldn't run them for fronts or anything like that, but they're definitely good for burning up. Um, these are my old fronts, which are just like a Dunlop Dereza, Dereza, I think is the, the, the type of tie they are. Anyways, these are really bad. I had a lot of understeering issues with them. So these are off and these are now spare for drifting and burning. And I have some really nice uh, Federal RSRs on the front. Um, and then I've got some Kenders here. These are like a $60 tire and they're going to be used for burning as well on those rims that Okachan gave me. So that's what kind of happened. Um, and I did all of that before my shift started on... When was it? Saturday. So I went to Okachan's workshop super early the moment he opened. I took all these rims there and the tires that came on Amazon. And uh, he then had my um, Federal RSRs there and the Kenders there to put on. So then I had to bring all of these home, which is eight tires, which is just ridiculous, right? Or eight wheels and tires. So I had three in the boot and then I had five across the whole back of the... Um, uh like the back seat and it was just stacked all the way across so that was really insane um but anyways like uh, i need to do some work on the r33 today um it's a little bit hard to explain but um for me to get to that last drift event um i realized that the bolts for the cv shaft that go into my, that went into my diff um were actually different length than what i needed for the normal r200 diff that i put in so i had to um, and nothing was open because it was a public holiday week here in japan so what I actually had to do was I had to go to the hardware store and get some bolts there that fitted and um, use those with locking washers and Loctite. Now it's not super dodgy and it is you can do that but I just didn't feel comfortable using them and uh, I'll show you why in a little bit but I finally got the genuine ones from Nissan. They hooked me up. It was only like $35 for all 10 and you may think that's a bit expensive for some bolts right which it kind of is but these are special bolts designed high tensile, high steel, like designed for dealing with stress and CV shafts. And the way that the bolt is, is it kind of cones so that it really locks and stops any movement happening in the, the CV shafts, like when they're connected and bolted up. So um, anyways, and obviously they came with locking um, washers and then nuts as well. So we're gonna go and do that today. And uh, we've got some new stuff here, which is gonna be awesome to show you. I finally got a new jack. So I can't wait to work on the car with that. Anyways, I've been talking for ages and updating you guys. Let's get started. Okay guys, so here's the comparison. I've got the, the Nissan parts here on the bottom and then I've got the generic hardware store ones here. Um, the first thing I'm gonna point out to you is the bolt head and nut are 17 millimeter on this one and on the Nissan one they are 14. This does cause issues when trying to do them up. You do need to use on um, one side an open-ended spanner and tighten from the other side with a closed end spanner. So it makes things very difficult for tightening them up. Um, the other, the main difference as well is, is literally just that see the distance of the thread stops here on the Nissan one and then it kind of cones out and this part's actually 
um, wider or thicker than the thread. And the reason for that is that fills the void that's in the holes of the CV shaft bolting points, which means there's no movement in there at all. They can't like shift at all. Um, and it, yeah, you're not gonna have any movement happening there. Obviously it's really hard to find a bolt exactly the same as that, which uh, I would argue that you probably can't. Um, and that's why um, it's not a good idea to use these um, because you can end up with some movement in there um, and with, when that's going backwards and forwards it cause noise um, and eventually if there's a little bit of movement in there when there's torque um, it will break so do not use generic hardware bolts um, they're good in a sticky situation to get you out of trouble um, but I definitely would not leave them in there Make sure you go get the genuine ones. This is also made out of a high tensile forged steel, so um, they're not going to rust and they're going to um, be a lot stronger than these crappy ones. So that's why I'm replacing them out with um, these Nissan ones. So we're going to go and put those in now. All right, guys, I have a really good treat for you. Uh, we're heading to Daikoku right now, and there's an Atasha style meet on. Now, this happens every month, the final, like the last Monday of every month. This meet happens at Daikoku PA. So, if ever you guys are in Japan and you've got a hire car or a way to get to Daikoku, go there on the last Monday of the month and you'll see an Atasha meet. So, we're heading there now. All right, guys, so I'm here at Daikoku now and I've run into some friends from uh, the last time I was here and there's some Itasha style cars. And um, I promised them last time if they, like, if we ran into each other, I'd have Ataku Garage stickers to give them. And uh, they are so ecstatic that I got them uh, and I ran into them again and had the stickers that they're all putting them on their cars now. So, um, you guys saw this in a previous video. So this is like an elfin lead. Sorry, I got like my big rig here, which you'll see some awesome footage on in a little bit. <laughs> so you got a Suzuki Swift there. You've got a little, um, I think they're called a, a Nissan March here, but they're actually a Micra in Australia. And you got an R32 Skyline here. And they're all like Itasha style themed. And you're gonna see more like better footage and stuff like that once I film it with this. But um, anyways, I just wanted to show you like just how pe how many people here in Japan actually really love our um, business name, Otaku Garage. <laughs> so the particular owner of this car, um, he actually hand cuts all of this out and spends hours upon hours to get this. He's, he's really into this particular like silhouette design. So every single bit of like Itasha like artwork on his car he has personally done and cut out himself and it's the attention the detail that he's done by hand for this kind of thing is just ridiculous I can't imagine like sitting over a table and cutting this out by hand it just seems insane to me there's a few more here and it's just incredible the attention to detail that he goes to cut that out is very upset that there's no lighting here and very OCD about it. It looks fine, but he's just upset that there's no lighting. I want it to be perfect for you guys. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and like an insight into a Tusha style. And I hope it gave you some ideas for when you guys are thinking of like wrapping your cars or whatever. Um, anyways, I hope you actually really enjoyed the footage I managed to get on my Canon. Um, it was really difficult to try and get some nice shots. Damn, that car bottomed out. Um, in this really bad low lighting. So hopefully it turned out all right. Um, but otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Ciao, matane.